Okay, this is just a quick intro to this um, vlog um, because I realized I didn't have really have much of one. Um, I uh, I decided that I'm just kind of doing a just a quick quick update on uh, just what's gone on in the past couple of weeks and what my plan is moving forward with what's going on as far as. Um, the timetable, even though I have no details. So, um, uh, that's pretty much, um, it, this is just a quick little update vlog. This isn't anything huge. Um, trust me, when there's big updates, uh, you'll know about it, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, this is, uh, one of the videos I hadn't planned on filming. Um, I don't have any news, um, but I kind of am reshuffling what I, um, what my timeline kind of is, um, based on what's going on. And, um, uh, the biggest news we've gotten in the past couple of days is um, Duo is, um, going to breed another litter, which they haven't done since last year, late last year. Um, they had two litters last year, and they had a, a litter ready to go when I was down there last year. So, the fact that they are, um, they have another litter due, uh, tells me they have enough of a system going right now that they're able to have um, the welfare helpers in there because it takes like people in double digits to care for a dog that has a litter and take care of the puppies until they go to their um, puppy raisers. Um, it's a lot of people and up until a few months ago, they could not have a lot of people coming and going. But I think they have a system now um, that they can actually have people in there and they're not freaking out about COVID as much. Um, so right now I am looking at probably going down there in the spring, which is fine because I really do not want to take a dog right now. Um, just because of how, um, unpredictable the weather is. So, um, I mean, that's better than nothing. Um, and right now, frankly, I'm trusting God with the timing. Um, God protects me in the rain. So I trust him that I'll have a dog when I need one. So, um... But yeah, so right now I figure if they're gearing up to have another litter, which is going to probably be due sometime in January, um, the, they will be ready for people to come down there and gear up for the team training probably sometime in the spring. Um, and the fun thing is, the puppies that were going to puppy raisers when I was down there last time, um, they'll probably be ready for the dogs that will go out to um, handlers um, when I go back down there, which was a litter of labs and a litter of goldens. I doubt I'm getting a golden because just because it's going to take me twice as long to groom the dog every day <laughs> if I have a golden retriever. I love the temperament of golden retrievers, but they are a pain in the butt to groom if you want them to look nice. Trust me, I've seen golden retrievers that people don't bother to groom and they look like a hot mess. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that ends up going. Um, so I'm like looking at probably in the spring and that's fine and that's fine with me. Um, I'll be ready when I'm ready. And trust me, you will know about it. Um, so I'm actually really happy with how things are pacing right now. 
despite the shuffle and uncertainty in the world, we have um, a COVID vaccine kind of on the runway um, that they think is actually going to work. Um, and I actually, it's actually looking up that I might actually be able to go to concerts next year because um, we either, Ticketmaster has a thing going where either you have to be tested for COVID and test negative or you have to have the vaccine to be able to attend a concert. And I assume that goes for the VIP too. Um, so, yeah. So things are actually looking looking way better than they were um, a few months ago. And um, so, I mean, I still don't know when I'm going down there, but at least stuff is moving forward in a direction um, that is favorable. Um, because if Diva Dogs is, um, is ready to take on a litter of puppies, and trust me, the one litter they had was a dozen puppies from a lab. Um, they are ready to get moving like full steam ahead to bring people back down to train dogs. Um, I think it was just an issue of them getting the trainers square and get their system going. Um, and a, a deal with um, COVID on top of that, but they have a system now, so they're good. And um, I'm just gonna kind of keep an eye on things, and which is pretty much all I can do right now, um, because they they're like any other business; they do take a two week break around the holidays. They're closed for Thanksgiving, and they're closed for. Christmas and New Year's. So I'm just gonna kind of keep an eye on things and um, and we'll see.